and for the Warriors, or is it a new beginning? There's been so much hope for this club. Formed in 1995 and yet to win the big one. Here's some of the big names on screen there. No Manu Vatuve today. He did play in the ISP Super Cup and scored a try. Looked good, actually. Looked nice and lean, so maybe he comes into calculations next week. They play the Roosters, perhaps. Tuivasa Sheik, of course. The captain, the other two in that poster there. Sean Johnson. Just eight points required before he comes the leading quarter, the point scorer in Warriors history, overtaking Stacey Jones and Simon Mannering not far away from becoming the most capped Warriors player in history. But it's about the Knights. Every single one of the starting 13 has NRL experience. Ken Seo, though, is a new player. He's had 57 games for the Eels. He's back from the UK, linking up with the Knights. Key signings for the Knights in the offseason, Jamie Bureau, number 12, and Josh Starling. The front row of both from Manly and on the interchange. A couple of debut debutants set to go. Sam Stone, the son of former coach Rick Stone. And also Luke Yates, another lock, another back rower who's going to come off the bench today for his first game in Knights Colours. Two of the Matauti is on show here this afternoon. Of course, Sione debuted way back in 2014 for Australia. The youngest ever to do so by passing one great Israel Folau. Now shifted into the back row, Hillwood jersey number 11. onto Mount Smart Stadium. Big moment in the young career of Roger Tuivasa-Shek, the 23-year-old. Surprise choices captain leads his team out for the first time. What a great touch. Roger Tuivasa-Shek, it was round seven last year, unfortunately was the end of 2016 for him, and boy, didn't they miss him. No changes to the starting 13. That was named on Tuesday. So Tui Vasa, check it fullback. Lola here and Malmalo on the wings. Fussy Tua, Carter, Hingano, and Sean Johnson, Albert Vetter, and this man, Isaac Luke. What are you expecting from him in 2017, Daryl? Well, RTS returned last year, as did this man here and Isaac Luke, and there was pressure on both of them. I'd say there's more pressure on Isaac Luke right now than there was last year, but I believe a performance can answer all that pressure. He'll get us started here at Mount Smart. Seven, on, boys. Underway in 2017 at Mount Smart Stadium. A round one in our round clash. It's going to be the Knights with the first position. Warriors showed promising signs in their last game two weeks back in Palmerston North when they... Beat the Titans 26 to 6 in the trial. Newcastle coming off a 44 0 win over the Raiders. Really interesting to see what sort of play they come up with early. Lola here and they're making a tackle. Sean Johnson, very active without the ball in that game in Palmerston North. Good first up field from the Knights in. They're already right on the halfway line inside uh, four tackles in this first set. Peter Matathia plays the ball. The dummy half was Levi. New Zealand are born in Wellington. Come through the Randwick Club. The same club that Steve Kearney came through all those years ago when he was a player. Now Lamb goes to the air. Early tester here for Malmalo. He's got that one comfortably. And Kim Malmalo will play it two metres inside his 20. Yeah, thought that would be the case. Has there been a little mistake here? Kim Malmalo is it in the play the ball? I thought they'd test him out with an aerial bombardment this afternoon, the Newcastle Knights, and Lamb sends the first one his way. He swallowed it, no problem. And then takes off. Let's have a look. Gets to the outside, low down, and now. Does the ball roll forward there across his body? 
the play. The ball's okay, so it's deemed to be lost when he's hit the ground. That's right. Monty Beetham, sideline. Welcome to the new season, Monty. Oh, great to be here. Very excited about it, and it's great conditions here today. There is a stronger breeze now at the back of the Newcastle Knights, but, geez, what about the intent from the boys? They come down straight away, force an error, and they let everyone know about it. They're pumped. They are indeed, and they're going to be a threat here. There's Fithian, about to play the ball. Levi rolls away from dummy half again. Then they're 10 metres out, the Newcastle Knights. Gunn being asked to release the tackler. Well, the tackle player is, it was Metautia who's playing the ball. Here's Hodkinson getting close. Big tackle from Ryan Hoffman. Just a metre out there. Saved the try for the Warriors. Lamb again. Gets the first chance in the number six jersey with Mullen. Not available, remember, for the foreseeable future. The Knights rolling away again through Hodkinson. Well, it like Johnson had a Newcastle shirt on there, Daryl. Yeah, it was. Sean Johnson jumps in the middle of it. Has a word as well to Hodkinson. The poor pass from Trent. They've done some work on the right edge to start with. So the Metautias will play here. Sione's in the headgear. And Peter, who spent some time at St George, will play in the centre position. So first test for the Warriors is a pass mark, courtesy of an error from Newcastle. Might we see Chanel and Pat also playing in a Newcastle first great game this season. All four in the same game would be something. Now Bunty are fourth. Very impressive in the off-season, playing his fifth NRL game today. And Vete gets close to the 40-metre mark inside the Warriors territory. Luke. Sizes up his options and sticks to the right. To Ivasa Shek runs off his shoulder. Good defence coming in here from the Knights. Good tackle coming in there from Mitchell Barnett. And also Hodkinson. Gubb with his first carry. It's up over the halfway line. There'll be a fair few nerves out there as Luke rolls away. Mannering. Mannering shows the ball. It's a good run from Simon Mannering. Last tackle now. Still 30 metres out. Hingano is going to go to the air. Pressure there on the winger there. Is it out on the full? It just uh, took the line before it's bounced out. Anyway, it's going to be a scrum to Newcastle. Yes, have some pressure here on my far. Out to Hingano. I'd like to see him step up and run the team a little bit, take a little bit of pressure off Sean Johnson. So possibly preconceived idea for my far to kick it. Why Kim Mamalo doesn't compete for the football to actually push it back in, I've got no idea. We'll put that down as his second moment of the game. Here we go, Trent, stay in. Hold, boys, hold. Hold there. Out. No worries, try and push the Knights off the ball. Boom now, Charlie. Playing the ball as Barnett again. Knights looking to work their way efficiently away from their own goal line here. Making some good metres too, aren't they, already from these hit-ups. Away they come again, making that tackle. Good tackle coming in from Charlie Gubb right around the bootlaces of Barnett again. This is Starling. Josh Starling, good honest front row this fellow. Here's the last tackle. They're going to run it, are they? No, they're not. Up those Fithians kick. Down to Tuivasa Shek. Well, here leaves it to him. And Tuivasa Shek brings it away from his own line. Yeah, good set there from Newcastle Knights. Of course, the big boys. Right in amongst it, Starling started the match well. Here comes Mamalo, needs a good carry and gets one. Saifidi has been heavily involved in the first couple of sets. Mannering it is, or is that Hoffman? Good run from Ryan Hoffman. He's in a moon boot two weeks ago and on crutches. Only obviously precautionary is Vete. Oh, Vete. Looks like he's popped up somewhat in the off-season, Albert Vete. Mannering. Close to Isaac Luke. Again, another easy 10 metres. There's the offload. Lovely hands. Now Johnson. Sean Johnson in space. Johnson right here. Oh, a clever kick. And that's excellent play down the right flank from the Warriors. Plenty of space. And some speed from Sean Johnson. It was Simon Mannering with a lovely offload. I was wondering where the offloads were going to come for, from this Warriors team with no Ben Martellino. And then a turn and some speed. The outside couldn't really keep up, so he buys some time with the dummy. And Lola here with a kick. Pressured through to the inside. 
Great hands from Luke and a lovely little kick there from Lola here, Monty. That was excellent play. What about the skill set from all the boys, from the late offload to the good pick up to realising he's going to go and flirt with the sideline? So he put it on the toe. Sean Johnson playing what he sees in front of him. Great signs early on from the Warriors, but also from the Knights. Rugby League's a simple game. If you win the, the ruck speed, you're going to win the game. Mitch Barnett receiving some attention as we see this lovely left arm carry from Simon Mannering. And then Isaac Luke, the tip on was pretty special as well. It's accused of not running the football in season 2016, Sean Johnson gets a nice little burst there to start the match. This is Mitch Barnett, got a smack on the beat by the look. Looks like that could need some. Like it was being put him back in place in an earlier shot there, didn't it? Nothing like a broken nose to start the season and just side the first seven minutes. That's a lengthy That's line a... dropout. And now go! Sorry, go. He was coming from the back fence, Charlie Gunn. Here comes Mannering. He's had plenty of carries early in this match. This is fourth hit up already. Now Luke. Then Gano and Fetty is winding up as well. Good defence on the big fella though. Albert Fetty. Barnett makes a nuisance of himself nicely there. And Gano again now to Gum. They're on the 10 metre line here. Two tackles left in the set. Mataltia in there making the tackle for the Newcastle Knights. Mannering handles again. Luke. Now to Hingano. Here's Hoffman. No sign of Solomon Akata just yet in this game. He was looming up on the left edge, as you'd expect. Hingano on the last tackle. Here goes Johnson. Johnson nudges that one, waits it nicely. And it's going to be another line dropout. Third set in a row coming up for the Warriors. So a good set of six here for the Warriors. Good D also if you're a Newcastle fan. But Mafoa Atahingano had total control of that set in attack. First he set the big guy on his way on the left. And then he got involved on the right before shifting the ball to Sean Johnson. And Sean, well, lovely left foot kick. Three Newcastle players attending. Well, we've wanted a good kick, an improved kicking game. It's one thing in particular, Monty, that needs to be better than 2016 is their kicking game. That's right, and you've got two options on either end, and also Isaac Luke from dummy half. So when you've got multiple options in your attack line defensively to kick, it's amazing. But, the, geez, the fact that Sean Johnson goes closer to the line, each step he takes to the line, he looks that much more dangerous. A loose carry from Albert Vetti there. Yeah, big Albert. Was he trying to chance his arm? I mean, he led the way in offloads last year for the Warriors, which is a little bit unheralded. 28, and here he charges into the line, turns with the shift, and then let's have a look. That's Lamb over the top. And, yeah, he does. He does try to flick it. So, good call. Oh, clock is off. Oh. Head right in, Roger. Oh. Here we go. 14 games last year. Oh, Vetti, 30 minutes per game he averaged last year. He'll up back a little bit in 2017. Now a nice roll away through Levi again. They're running it early. Out into the back line it comes. And the Warriors oh, open. Sure. like that variety, yeah, though, from the Knights. I like this player, Nathan Sean. Ross. They call him White Lightning. Yeah, he scored plenty of tries last year, too. He's the oh, oh, leader last year yeah. for the Knights with eights. Okay, Away goes Levi, the Wellingtonian from Dummy Half, a former junior Kiwi. Now Barnett oh, taken just down by the 30-metre line. Excellent play. The ball, too, has the Knights rolling forward again. That was Bura in the blue headgear. That's excellent tackle from Hingano and Carter. Shuts down Metaltia dead there. In fact, it was Gungai, of course. Now there's a kick, there's a good kick! And it's a try! Well, an excellent take there, and that has stunned the local crowd. Lola, he has had it pinched out of his hands. Tackle six. And it looks like the bunker is going to clarify it. Can you please clear the onside? And just make sure there's no bubble in the catch, please. There's a clear catch. Looked pretty clear from here. It certainly did. We'll check the rulings with the bunker. A Peter Metaltia. Clear the onside going through to the contest. And Lola here go at it. Let's have a look. Well, we might need another angle for that one. Yeah, he looks like he's taken it cleanly there, Daryl. Well, if there is a bubble that he asked for, it's bubbled back onto his chest, so there's no problem there, and he's re regathered the football, even if it has come off the arm of Lola here. It goes back into Peter Metaltia. The Newcastle oh, player has the taken possession of the ball, going through to the grounding. Yeah. 
no problem there, is there? And we have a grounding going to the board. Thanks, Ash. Well, triple checking that time, but this is going to be a green light. There's nothing coming at Ash. Well, Takes a little while to get across the Tasman. It does. It does. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, High-speed cable. I think you could just award the try. <laughs> just award the try, please. Uh, I'm just going to give it. That's give right. It. That's yeah. right. He's listening to Follow me, Daryl. There we go. Thank you. It's good play. Three errors from the Warriors. The turnover from Vete. Now the kick. Plenty of height on it. And Matautia. Wow. There was Warriors players around, but no one was really shielding Tui Lola here. So Matautia gets a clean run right through it. And if you don't defend or have the intent to defend those kicks, then you'll be made to pay. Trent Hodkinson will step up and knock this over. So Matautia back from the Dragons last year. 17th NRL try. Game number 53 in the NRL for him today. This man here on screen, Trent Hodkinson, even though he had less than 50 yeah. attempts at goal last year, he kicked at 87%. That's right. Thurston was the best of the kickers and yep. threw 100 kicks, kicked at 84. But this man is yep. one of the sharp shooters. He certainly knows how to bang them over. We don't have any problem with that one. The Knights, after 11 minutes, they lead 6-0. Yep, you can bet on that Monday morning when you look at this on the video footage. Went straight through Peter Matautia, went straight through Sean Johnson and David Fusitoa to score the try. Not a good one. Obviously, got to chase back. You'll get in the road and escort the people coming Somebody through boys. to take the ball off your men. Wait for the kick. So Luke kicks off. First try on Mount Smart this season, scored by Peter Matautia for. Come Newcastle Knights. Oh, Been impressive so far. Just solid play from Knight. The Knights, nothing oh, splashy, oh, nothing spectacular. Yeah. Well, they've been handed the football on three occasions, and they'll come to play. Don't worry about that. Danny Levi working some magic in through the dummy half area. Newcastle, 60% possession so far. Levi doing a good job of distributing the ball as Ross handles again. 28-year-old. David we are 19 not games for them for the Nathan Knights Nathan. last year. Nathan Ross. Starling it is. Offload. Nice offload. I don't know if the Knights will make too much of this. That's Messi, symbolic, and now Carter. Tidies up for the Warriors. An error made right on the halfway line. Let's see if the Warriors can pounce. Vete. 15 metres inside the Newcastle half. Maybe almost 18, in fact, as Johnson handles. Now Mannering. Taken nicely by Sioni. Mataltia. 30 metres out. Now, this what the Warriors can get on the front foot. There goes Hingano. Out to Carter. He's dropped it stone cold. So spare a thought for Stephen Kearney. Sitting up in the coach's box here. Up, having the first 10 minutes of his reign here with the well, Warriors up, and seen players just Simon. inexcusably Simon spill the football. Solomone Carter. Well, couldn't have been any more out in front of him, ball. could it? The setup was good. Roger, head right into the tower, please. Hold in there, Had a great year last Roger, year, Solomone Carter. Leading try scorer for the Warriors head was 15. Head head Clocks off and you go really stepped up. Yeah, ran for 104 Ouch. metres per game. Yours, mate. Thank you, mate. 19 clean breaks. Charlie, Charlie now. Now. Oh. So I won a game, side. not too bad for Solomon Akata. You need to do better than that, though, from here. Johnson makes a tackle. Sean to go Ross at dummy half. Oh. Go Away he goes, Nathan Ross. Our four makes a tackle. Levi, we enjoy this, a 21-year-old 21 21 junior Kiwis, 2014 and 15. Right, let's go of Mataltia, and they run it again. Hodkinson, Lamb again, Mannering, makes the tackle. Last play here for the Knights, 30 metres out. They're going to run it, which is only 50 and goes to the air again. More pressure on Lola here, looking directly into the sun, and he's got this one. I like it. Spreading the workload here, the Newcastle Knights. 
The game, game plan's pretty simple. Here comes Fusatua with a good charge. The kicking game spread out between the halves and Lamb and Hodkinson and Fighty and can step up from the back and put one in as well. So Papa Lee awaits his chance on the bench alongside him. Jacob Lilliman is a strong carry from Ken Malmalo, but good defence again. No clear breaks. The moment for Gubb, who runs directly at Starling. So Warriors on the last inside their own half. Johnson punches it down towards Nathan Ross, who's fielded it cleanly again. Good solid game from Nathan Ross so far in these first 15 minutes. Yeah, he's been safe as he always is. I mean, with him playing on the left and then Gagai on the right, they really have got some run meters. They both ran for over two kilometers last year. When you total the runs. And Gagai too scored that memorable try for Queensland in the state of origin last year too, one game, didn't he? Hasn't seen much of the ball so far. He's wearing three in this game for the Knights. Now Barnett, solid contact on him. Charlie from Mannering. Levi again. Now Hodkinson. Lamb. And Gano off on him. That's good tackling. Now away comes Saifiti. This is Danny Saifiti. His twin brothers. Jacob sitting on the interchange. Here go they, uh, the Knights again. Running on the last. Ross. It's another try. It's been called back for that suspect pass. A little like it was... Maybe two passes back in that last movement. Yes. They're playing with a good pace, aren't they, Newcastle, when they get the football? Here they chance their arm on the outside. This is Sioni, and this pass is OK. And then the one back on the inside is ruled to be forward, and they get the right call there. Otherwise, Peter Matautia would have had a double. Oh, they're attacking that right defensive edge, aren't they, Monty, with some success at the moment, the Knights? Well, I think the success is coming from the energy and, and the speed of the ruck that the Knights are just dominating at the moment. That's the difference between the two sides. Of course, they're playing a simpler game, but geez, they're effective because everyone's on board and everyone's pushing with such high intensity. That's exactly right. There goes Luke. This is nip away from dummy half. Five metres inside the Knights territory, so... Two tackles to go in this set to Ivasa Shek. Plenty of carries for him. That's his fifth in the game so far. Last tackle again. As Ngana will plug the left flank again. Not too much depth on that kick that time. As Malmalo has spilled the ball forward. And that will be a night nice scrum. So that's the second time they've gone with Ata Hingano kicking for Ken Mamalo. I get a feeling he's unsure whether he really wants to go for it or not, Ken Mamalo. Let's have a look here. Yes, a will, and then, well, maybe he's looking into the sun as well, to be fair to the young kid. But the only one contesting the football should have taken that. A nice player is uh, coming off. Looks like maybe Barnett again. Problems with that nose, eh? This might give young Sam Stone a chance to make his... Debut, perhaps. And plenty of options to replace him. Daryl on the bench. Isn't there? Number 14 is coming on. It's Luke Yates, the 21 year old. He had a momentous game for him. This is his first NRL game and he turns 22 tomorrow. And he's Newcastle all over. NYC, ISP, Cup. He bleeds blue and white. He sure does. He was their Inter Super Premiership Player of the Year last year. I see for three seasons before his debut here today. Luke Yates. A proud moment for him as Levi runs away from dummy half again. Now Saifiti is a big body, isn't he? Always likely to carry one or two players with him. Here goes Bura, the hard-working back rower. Nice play, the ball too as Lamb tries to split to Ivasa Shek and Malmalo. Didn't really succeed in that at all. They've made really good metres up and around the ruck there in that set of six, as they have done for the first 18 metres of this game as Carter charges in. And the work's all with Danny Levi. And one runner is a front runner on the outside. Quick, quick step out of dummy half, and then away they go. Kim Malmalo. Good defence coming in. I think Newcastle are playing very well without the ball, aren't they? They're doing a very good job of... Not giving the Warriors any opportunities to exploit at all as Hoffman plays the ball. Here comes Lilliman who's out there now. 
That's a good run from Jacob Lillian in his first carry of 2017. Now, Johnson on the last tackle again. This one's going to come down just in front of the try line. Ross, heat on him. He's courageous take there. Perfectly judged from Sean Johnson. Lola here arrives just in the nick of time. It lands one metre out from the try line. But Ross Dog or White Lightning, whatever you like to call him, he's up to the task. And look at this. Gets himself back involved here for a charge as well. Vete off. Lilliman on. Foul with the tackle. The ball there was Ken Seal, the former Parramatta Eels player. Now Luke Yates again with his second carry. He plays the ball very quickly as well. Gets Newcastle again, rolling forward nicely. And this is a good kick. Oh, great kick. How good is that? The first 40 20 that we've seen on Mount Smart this season. Fabulous. Yeah, five here as well. Beautiful work. Lovely left foot. Played the last two games last year, this kid. Well inside the 40. All just working its way towards the sideline. Saifidi Daniel off. Jacob on. Just doing the basics really well at the moment, the Knights, aren't they? Just ticking all the boxes in that area. Now here is Saifiti. Jacob. Big opportunity here for the Knights to extend their lead through Levi Gear Mannering. Makes another excellent tackle. That's his 15th of the game already. Levi again. Here goes Hodkinson taking the line on. Oh, there's a big gap. Oh, those bootlegs have tackled. Charlie Gough wasn't they? Wasn't that needed by G. Now the Knights look to spread the defence this time, but again, Mannering's up to the task on Jamie Bura. And a penalty against Mannering. Or is it Hoffman? Ryan Hoffman. Yeah, it's Hoffman. Goal line D really coming to the fore here. And I've got to say, they're only just hanging on, the Warriors. Charlie Gubb made a peach of a tackle here on the right-hand side. Left attacking edge of Newcastle as a hole just really opened up. When that man on screen there, Hodkinson, ran across. Here's the penalty. So Hoff realises that they're out on their feet and just hangs on and says, I'm quite happy to give a penalty away here or maybe just to get a breather. And Trent Hodkinson will jump up and make it an eight-point eight point game. But, wow, he gets a breather. But he was needed, Charlie Gubb, there. Lasoni will be his replacement. Seem to be at a different pace, Newcastle, at the moment. They do, and it's just a Monty. Just the Warriors, I don't know what it is, a little sluggish. I don't know if I uh, should be using that one, but they just don't look quite in sync, do they? Well, the way the Newcastle's playing, you can be forgiven for thinking that the Warriors are sluggish. They're very upbeat, playing a very fast pace, and that's why I think they probably should have gone for the repeat setting, have had another go, because they had them on the ropes. I think the up-tempo game they're playing, it would have come up trumps, and they could have got away to a bit more of a lead than 8-0. It's always an interesting tactic, this one, isn't it? As Hodkinson should bury this one. 8-0 it is. The scary thing was with the Warriors' defence was that there was some space starting to open up around the edges. And that's where Hodkinson was going. A couple of unders balls, and they were really in trouble. So players needing to move from the ruck to take the space for the Warriors. Work to do. All looking good for the night so far, with 18 minutes to play until the half time. Sonny, boys. Sonny is on. Charlie Gubb after making that try saving tackle. There's a breather, and Stockwell's on too. Now, Saifiti, big athletic man, isn't oh, good he? Good charge, look at that, straight through the line. Went through Lilliman and Hoffman. He missed the stop, didn't he? Jacob Saifiti left all the passengers on the platform. Away goes Gagai. Oh, he's lost it. He lost it, stone cold. Yeah, good work, Ito Ngano was one-on-one. -on -one. Got his arm in there and just reefed it out. Does that inspire the Warriors? Lasoni was wanting the ball. Mannering who kept it tucked under his chest. There comes Lasoni. Oh, the short ball this time to our fans being spilled. The Warriors can't afford that. Mistakes like that early in the set in the Newcastle half of the field, and now they've given away a penalty. A chapter of errors. Well, you don't like 
the guys to go into their shell. This won't be the case with Lissonet. A four just overruns it and just overcooks it. It was always going to be called forward. Like the intent. I'm not sure about the execution. Well, the comes down to risk the versus with the reward, beak. doesn't it? Chop, risk versus going reward six. just got on the field. You find yourself six. down by eight points. Six. Better to probably rip in, play the ball as quick as you can, then force the pass, force the issue, and in that case, it didn't come off. Hodkinson's got problems with his nose. So six errors from the Warriors in the first 25 minutes. 40% of the football. Yeah, that possession stat, not good from a Warriors point of view at this stage, you'd have to say. And now the Knights have the opportunity to increase their possession stat even more. Ross plays the ball, Levi again rolls it away to Hodkinson. Yates flicks it on this time to Lamb. It's a good move, good shifting of the football again as Fithian, who's got it, playing his third game today for the Knights, two last season. Why are they moving to the left? They're shifting the ball nicely, aren't they? The next player always knows what's going to happen as Matafi will play the ball. Levi again. The match Britain, and that is a poor catch that time from Jacob Saifiti. Yes, Saifiti just sees it come into the arms and bounce off his body. Atahingano has been in the middle of everything defensively. Two of us, Ashek shows us his footwork and now gets driven to the sideline. Important passage of play here for the Warriors. It was a bit of a coach killer that one too, wasn't it? It's Fusi Tua. Handles again for the Warriors. No space for him at all on this right flank. Lilliman, that's a good carry again, Jacob Lilliman. There'll be much more expected of him in 2017 than 2016 that he produced. Here goes Carter. Just his second carry of the afternoon. And he's got the penalty to Solomon Akata. He's expert, he's a very strong player on the ground. The Warriors get the penalty inside the Knights' half. This will take the Warriors into the danger zone for the Knights. And with the errors I've made, they can all probably feel as though they're a little bit on edge. Had a couple of repeat sets, yet to trouble the score attendant. And with that, adds a little bit of pressure. So 20 metres out. Lilliman plays the ball. Now Sam Lasonet, who had a good, solid pre-season. Looked effective in the trials as well. And Garnall gives it to Mannering. Mannering. Here goes Johnson. He's a runner. He's passed it to Fussy Tua. And David Fussy Tua is the man who scores the first try in 2017 for the Warriors. Was never ever going to be stopped from there. David four try for Sutua against the Knights last year. Opens his account pretty easily this year in the 26th minute. The work done from everyone inside him. They set it up just on the left of the post and away they come, mannering through to Johnson. One dummy, two dummy, and that's enough to hold Mataltia up and create some numbers on the outside. And when you're six foot four, well, he does it pretty easy anyway for Satua. Would have got there whichever way he went. Oh, Monty, I think they paid the price there tonight. The just hanging off Sean Johnson, didn't they? That's right. Simon Mannering, obviously, with the first port of call, the nice ball out to Sean Johnson, and Sean Johnson just holding up that ball lovely to a point where he knew that when Fusatua got the ball, there'll be no stopping him one-on-one. -on -one. Too big, too strong, and he gets his try scoring off to a good one. Oh, Sean Johnson is going to be the goal kicker to start the season. Of course, Isaac Luke, very accomplished goal kicker as well. I think uh, Sean Johnson, when fit, would be the choice goal kicker in this club. Just eight points to go past legend himself and Stacey Jones in terms of points scored for the club. A little bit of a breeze into his face. We saw Mason Leno kick seven from eight earlier today. Johnson kicked at 74% last year. He didn't kick for the back half of the season. That went to Isaac Luke. So here's Johnson. Absolutely nailed it. Johnson's first two points of the season, much is just a little bit closer to Stacey Jones' record, 674. It's all about that man, Fussy Tua. It's eight points to six. Ten tries eight. last year for Fussy Tua. 
a specialist here on the right edge. Was trialled on the left in the Kiwis Tour of the UK last year, but preferred, I think, to the right. He takes over that job from Blake Ashford, who uh, locked down that position last year. So that was a timely try for the Warriors. 12 minutes out from half time. That's Lasonic coming from the fence with a lean. This is R4, Bunty. He's the one with the hair neck. Luke plays, or is it dummy half? Lilliman's been impressive off the beach, you'd have to say. Jaboom. That's his fourth hit up. Just on 30 metres now. Here's Mannering in space again. Mannering, he finds the opportunity. Oh, it's came so far from Simon Mannering, isn't it? It's been out impressive. What an easy set of six this is. Look at this, onto the 40 already. That's a 60 metre gain. With one play left. Now Johnson. He goes to the air. Fifty and Ross is coming down. No, it's held up in that breeze. Now Lasani's got it. Lasani's going to take the tackle. He needs to offload it. He ain't going to be able to get it. He had a couple of opportunities there to hand it to a teammate, Daryl. It must be so difficult there for anyone to get basically some eyes on the football. We've seen many balls go up today and come down uncontested. This time it ends up in the hands of that man there, Lasonic. Tui the Lola here was right beside him. I would have liked to have seen it end up in Tui's hands with a bit of footwork. Mannering's having a whale. He's having a great game, isn't he? Bang Gagai. 12th NRL game for him. 106th in the Knights colours, of course. Here's Nathan Ross. Ross has run for over 80 metres already. He's having a good, strong game out on that afternoon. left wing, isn't he? Playing the ball there was Jake, uh, Jack Stockwell. Yates plays the ball. Levi on the last tackle. Now Lamb is going to plug Malmalo again. Don't blame him. Malmalo's had a little bit of the ipsy dipsy fingers and he's knocked it again, is he? <laughs> oh, the crowd's going to give him the rounds of a kitchen here. I thought it was knocked backwards initially. He sort of jumps in the air and didn't really have to jump at all because no one was contesting the football. So as a winger, you can actually just stand and catch that. You don't have to go up. And it's bounced off him and gone backwards. Well, I don't see the knock on. Neither did I. What about you, Monty? No, I agree with you, boys. I, I think that was fine. He obviously turned his back towards the defensive line, chasing him, so in that respect, it went backwards. Big, big opportunity here for the Knights to move away from the Warriors again. Here's Hong Kong. Oh, it's been dropped again. Nathan Brown will be tearing his hair out. Oh, that's right. He doesn't have any hair. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. There's plenty wrong with putting the ball down on the first tackle, though. It's the second time Newcastle have popped it up to the Warriors. And there's just a passage of play where Newcastle wanted to get themselves back into the game. They've lost that momentum. Another good carry from Fussy Tua. He looks full of running in 2017. Look out when he's got his hands on the ball this year. Here's Lasani dishing it. Now a bit of loom, space looming up on the left. Three bars a second. There goes Kata. The Knights have drifted across, though, effectively on that right side from their point of view, looking at that play. Good play from them. Now Hingano again. Mannering. Fantastic game so far. What a half of football from him. Can't ask for much better from Simon Mannering. Good quick play. The ball has two passes. Shek passing to Carter. And Simon Carter strolls over. Well, a bit easy that time for the Warriors. Top try scorer last year. Gets one today on the left hand. Solomone Carter. But what about the work first of Mannering? I mean, Mannering made a thousand tackles last year, 980 to be exact, and then leads the charge. And two of us are check. If you thought he didn't have a passing game, that was spot on to Carter. Just got himself on the outside. Great execution. Just held it up long enough, did Roger. He's happy. Boy, it's a good comeback from the Warriors, and they're really exploiting some. Suspect defence, you'd have to say, 
Monty Beetham. Both sides of the field from those Knights and both try scoring movements. Well, they've had a bit their fair share of possession, which is good. Now we're seeing a bit of variety in their attack. Down to Stacey Jones. I've, obviously, I've seen some, some players out there today that I've that I've seen Joe Stacey Jones' has influence on over many years. And geez, when we see Roger Tui Vasa inject himself into line at speed and then he throws a bullet pass from right to left like that, it just gives you positive signs for the year. And Solomon Carter down to score a try that close to the line. He is just unstoppable. Newcastle, or should I say the Warriors, saw two weeks ago in Palmerston North what it was like to have life with Roger Tuivasa Sheck back. And I think it was a blessing for Stephen Kearney. He comes up and takes a run one off the ruck when they need to get out of trouble on the third or fourth tackle. And then he finishes the play as well. When you play without him, you don't understand what you're missing until you get him back. So Johnson. I'm going to push that one across the face. He has. Score remains 10 to 8 with six to play until half time. He's kicked the ground there, Sean Johnson. Big tuft of dirt came up as we see Solomon Carter led the way on the edge for the Kiwis and pushed himself into an automatic starting position as a test player last year. Solomon. Keep a check on Sean Johnson. Sometimes when you kick the ground, when you're goal kicking, you can do an injury to your quad. Not that I'm wishing any injuries on Sean. Sounds like you're speaking from experience there, Daryl. Oh, that's right. You never kicked the ground, did you? Out on the foot. On the foot. Well, those basic mistakes, which were with the Warriors early in the match, have been flipped right around, haven't they? Now seven errors each. The Warriors were leading the errors four to one. Now well, we're shaking our heads up in the commentary box here. How about Simon Mannering leading the carries so far today? Seven. 17 tackles already. 54 metres gain. Mannering's just warming up. Lilliman throws himself at the line. Fantastic game from Simon Mannering so far. Lasani plenty of running too. Roger Tuivasa Sheck was looming up outside him too. Luke plays it to the open side. Hingano gets his hands on the ball. Hoffman's in. Boy, the Warriors would love one more before half time just to ease themselves. Clear of the Knights. Luke runs. No look pass to Lasani. That was a good carry from Lasani. Tackle met him at just the right uh, the time he caught the ball and he still went three or four meters forward. Harden Hingano here. Good hands from Atta. Did well to grab that. Last tackle now for the Warriors. Luke, long pass to Johnson. He's going for Lola here. Sean Johnson and Lola here. I think if he actually catches this and comes down, he'll still be in the field of play. But he decides to go to the man inside him in a basketball movement. And it comes straight off the backboard of Eula. Playing for UCLA. That was a netball pass, Monty Beaton. Oh, it was great. Once again, Sean Johnson playing what's in front of him. He got the hand up from this man there. He got up nice and high. And on the inside is that man, David Forsy Tour, last year. He's got two now. Can he do it again? That's the question, boys. Well, Forsy Tour, a second try of the game. He has, that's his 18th and 32 NRL games for the Warriors. So in the first 25 minutes of this match, Newcastle dominated the possession and got themselves to about, oh, I think it was 63% versus 37% of possession. It's now levelled itself out at 50-50. Key for Sean Johnson here is actually basically to make a clean strike with the football, which is one of the so basic things you want to do when you're kicking a football. It's like a golf swing, isn't it? But sometimes hitting that little white ball is a little bit harder. <laughs> it looks... Not that I'm speaking from experience, of course, Daryl. 
<coughs> this first attempt at goal was about two metres inside this spot. Took plenty of time. Oh, it's just sliding across the face again. So that kicking percentage, one from three so far for Sean Johns. But the Warriors lead by eight. Two and a half out from half time following that try to David Fusitua. Ali Knights were 8 mil up. And remember, they took that goal. Declined or they decided they didn't want to go for that second try in strong field position. Just went for the penalty. Lilliman's been good since he has come on. Mind you, the possession has been with Lilliman since he's been on the field. In that respect, the Warriors have come out of this, Monty, quite well, haven't they? You know, there's pressure from the Knights, you know, they've come out. They sure have. You know, they stood the storm early on, eight points down, they come back. I, I thought the Knights should have kept the pressure on. They went for the shot of the goal. They gave the Warriors time to compose, and they've come back with their fair share of position, position and shown what they're capable of. They're a very hard team to stop when they've got the momentum on their side. Hope you're enjoying our coverage here live on Sky Sport and Fox Sport, of course, across Australia. Glenn Lama here with Daryl Halligan. Doing it all here again on Friday night when the storm will be in town. Last play in this set. And Garner plugs the touchline close to half time. Nicely fielded there by Ken Seo. Here's Bithian. What a chase from Simon Mannering. Great work from Mannering. Pushing up through the middle. There wasn't a lot on the outside. Utter Hingano comes right over the top of the solid shoulder. On Gagai, Ross comes in for a little bit of work. This time it's Sakata, and just like that, takes Dane Gagai here to run out. Oh, he palms off Ngano there. He's an awkward customer to tackle, isn't he? Gagai, oh, what well, the old pass. Now, that's going to open up for Ryan Hoffman. We saw him on the wing at the nines. Don't think we would have seen that again, but we did just there for a moment. Lilliman, 30 seconds left in the first half. Six points up. Be a field goal opportunity and might play for a try here. Johnson has his hands on the ball too fast. A check. Fussy to a quick hands were required that time to Lolly here, but that's not the end of the world, especially because it's a quick play. The ball here comes Lasani again from the back fence. Ten seconds left. Luke with this last play in this first half. Johnson. Johnson takes the line on. Johnson at his best, and Fussy Tua has a hat-trick in the first 40 minutes. Superb. Newcastle just hanging on. It was the last play of the half. Isaac Luke shifts the football to Sean Johnson, who wanted it. In the running game now, we saw it early from Sean. Now he wants to guard the line. Takes Hodkinson on, and then an arm out the back. Beautiful flick. I know Matt Gidley, the CEO of Newcastle, was a special at this. He won't enjoy this one, but that's his pass. And foots it to her. Well, he's had three pretty easy put-downs today. And this one was just a catch and a plonk. Well, Johnson had eyes out the back of his head, Monty Beethoven. The closer Sean Johnson takes the ball to the line, the closer he runs it, the more headaches he will give you. It's as simple as that. He knew that he wanted to take on the line. He tried to pierce the line. He couldn't quite get there. So the next thing, best thing possible, he gave you a Sunday Bull Williams pass or a Gidley pass. Wonderful work there by Fusatua to get his third in the first half. That's interesting. A change of goal kicker here, Daryl. Isaac Luke now. Yeah, we'll have to check with Sean Johnson whether he has sort of jarred his leg. Certainly didn't strike the last two at all well. Well, Luca, good replacement goal kicker, 82% last year, and a lovely relaxed kicking style. And there is two points. And well, now he's into oh, Isaac Luke's gone down. See, you're right, that's very strange, isn't it? He went straight to his haunches, Glenn, and then is walking off gingerly. Well, I thought it might have been a groin, but it's a bit higher up. There's a rib, maybe. I don't think you know, I've ever seen a goal kicker damage a rib. <laughs> no. Well, especially with that lovely relaxed kicking style. Anyway, the goal has gone over. And after being 8-0 down, the Warriors have stormed back in the last part of this first half. And at half time, they lead 20 points to 8.
defensively. They got burned a couple of times on the edge late in it and offered the game back to them. But if they can get back to the basics and hold some football, Newcastle can play this match. All right, let's get some reaction for what, uh, from the Newcastle camp. Let's go down to Monty. Well, Kurt, there's plenty of energy early and a great start by the boys, but unable to hold it in that first half. Yeah, we weren't able to hold it for that for that uh, full 40 minutes. Um, really wrapped on our first 20 minutes, but um, just a few uncharacteristic sort of errors on early plays, and we weren't able to hold their their attack in uh, the last part of the half. What must you do in this next 40 minutes to ensure that you're at every least happy or trying to get the result? Yeah, we just got to stick to our plan. Obviously, go through our shapes and you know all we've practiced and and get through to the end of our sets and get our kicks in. So good luck. All right, thank you. Interesting. Uh, thank you to Kurt Wrigley and Monty. Start for the second half. Isaac Luke just standing there. Didn't look overly comfortable, did he? As the second half gets underway, the Knights trailing the Warriors 20 points to eight. Just a one try to the Knights, scored by Peter Metaltia. But Luke is out there to start the second half. Be interesting to see what role he takes. Johnson goes down to dummy half for that uh, first tackle. Four. Luke. There's no Aaron Clark on the bench. Boating Thompson Cody taking Mitchell his spot the there. They're also oh. well, yet to see Boating Thompson. Oh, oh, oh. oh. mattering away goes up to Hingano. Hingano cuts back in field. Hingano still going. Great run. Arthur Hingano. And a good quick play the ball. Carter. He does that a lot, doesn't he? That close to the line. Digs his way under the fence, doesn't he? Solomon Akata, Hangano handles again. Look, a long pass, but a good one to Johnson. Johnson gets one for Tui Lula here to chase. Great start to the second half for the Warriors. They somewhat dodge a bullet here, Newcastle. Not so much on the right as Tui comes across, but Hoffman, beautiful work. And Atta, he's looking for support. Now the players on the outside are Kata and also Mamalo, and they stay. He needed one to drop in under him earlier to open it up for himself. He had no other option. And then on the back end of it, Sean, he's got good touch. You know, his kicking, I was just about to say, his kicking's been on the money in this game. Every single kick has been perfectly executed from Sean Johnson. Well, that's not a perfectly executed kick, is it? Good old Wobbly, as Fussy Tua picks it up. And the Warriors in excellent field position here to mount another onslaught onto the line of the Newcastle Knights Mannering. He's only 20 metres out on the second tackle. Luke gives it to Ngano again. Here comes Lassoni. Lassoni takes the line on. Strong tackle from Bura. Jacob Saifitu is out there to start the second half. Luke. Pulls it out to Hengano, looking to bend the line. Good option taken from the 19-year-old. That'll get the Newcastle Knights defence sorted. Or has it? Here comes two pass a shick. Cut out pass. Malmaro forces the ball, but it's been called forward. And I think the officials got that one spot on. They did. They certainly did. And the pass from Roger on this occasion was a really simple one to pass. He wasn't really under pressure. Let's have a look. He could have taken some more time. And here just sweeps it too far forward. That is really a try butchered. I've got to say, Hata Hingano is having a game here this afternoon. He is giving Sean Johnson the chance to play. He's running the ball at the line. We saw him have a good line break here not so long ago. And he's had a lot of lovely touches on the left edge. They've actually swapped over here in the first part of the second half. And he's just playing closer to the ruck to move Sean Johnson out to second receiver. Carter just getting some treatment. Of course, Hungano is going to be fascinating to watch, isn't he? Monty Beatham. Of course, the shadow of Kieran Foran looms very large over that round three clash down in Dunedin. That's right. Atta Hingano is also eligible to play in under-20s, which is, is crazy to think of. He's homegrown talent. Obviously, there's Kieran Foran. Plenty of talk about him coming back in round three. But already, from what we've seen from Atta, it's been amazing. And he's going to have his composition cut out for him as old Foss. Sure is. There's been some changes there. Bodine Thompson's come onto the football field. And Isaac Luke has left. Yeah, Luke not comfortable after straining that side. He's still just having a chat to Doc Mayhew now. Interesting to see if we can find out whether he'll be back. And who will play dummy half now? Exactly. 
Also, it looks like Danny Levi might go the full 80 for Newcastle as well. Maybe Jamie Bura can shift into the hooking position here. Oh, a ricochet. It's a falcon. Right off by of Bunty Afoa. Ross pulls it downfield anyway. And now Lula here. So not a clinical set or an end to a set of six from Newcastle with the ricochet. Didn't make too many metres either. Here's Tuivasa Sheck. Just hung off him for a no, no, smidgen of time as well. Oh, oh. Malmalo. Malmalo, 35 oh. metres out. Oh. Here goes Boating Thompson. And Lilliman again, a very effective run from him as he heads towards the 20. Thompson goes into dummy half again. Johnson, short ball this time. Good one from R4. Good variety to the attack of the Warriors in this play. Thompson plays a dummy half again. Now Johnson. Here goes Hingano. Cook hands required to Hoffman. That's a good tackle. And that ends the set. What an excellent tackle from Dane Gagai. It was, it was required as well. Running it on the last. A good shift. And it is Bodine Thompson who'll jump in and play dummy half for the Warriors. Certainly a makeshift dummy half might he beat them, isn't it? I mean, he did play there one game, I recall, last year, during a game. Oh, look, he's very capable. He's got the motor as well, and obviously he's got the touches. But, geez, when you, you've got a specialist dummy half in there, and the way they bring them onto the ball and the speed of delivery is crisp, I think that's something that the boys aren't going to be used to. So, um, Bodine Thompson is a very good replacement, but obviously you want the specialist in there who's someone who's so good as our man is Isaac Luke. Exactly. Isaiah Papali'i not used yet by the... Warriors coaching staff, so the 18-year-old still awaits his opportunity to come on and make his debut. Yeah, less than a year, just a few months actually out of high school. Ross is playing the ball on the 40. Levi again. They come the nice looking to shift it. Very little for them to get hold of in the last 20 to 30 minutes of this game as Brock Lamb plays the ball. Levi. Here comes Jacob Saifiti. He's been looked good off the bench, hasn't he? All the touches that he's had have gobbled up excellent meters. Now, Bura again. Off Lamb's pass. Last tackle. Quick play the ball. Here comes Pythia, Pythian rather. And it's been taken just out from the Warriors line. Good set there from the Knights. It was a good set from the Newcastle Knight. Plenty of detail in there. Options at the back end of it as well. And a repeat set would have been nice and handy for them. Two of us a ship at dummy half here. He's nearly up to 100 metres. Leads the carriage. What about that? Wow. Left foot air suspended and the step. Carter comes in for a charge. Well, here, uh, two of us a ship, remember. He's a big metre eater. Now Johnson is Fussy Tua. Johnson gets it back from Fussy Tua. Bunty up four. The right thing there, R5. Still a young man. Only 20. Between 20 to 21 until August. There goes Johnson's kick. Pins for a penalty for that late charge there, but it's going to be play on. And it's going to be. That's fair game. Of course it is. Metatia. In the act of kicking the football, it invited the players there. So, slow mo doesn't help, by the way. <laughs> the Warriors, 800 and. 50 metres, Newcastle just 500. Oh yeah, that's a big difference, isn't it? Mannering looks like he's got a little niggle now. He's very slow to go back into the line. Looks like he might have caught one around the neck or the ear or something. And there goes Lamb's pass to Barnett. They'll have coughed it up again midfield, the Newcastle Knights. Nothing going right for them at all at the moment. And the last set of six had a really, really good shape. But their shape was out to the right. This time their shape looks good, but the execution of the pass is poor. His mannering is still holding on to the right side of his neck. We've also got an injury here to is that Sam Stone on the football field. That's mannering coming out of it with the neck. Well, I'm, I'm hoping it's a neck truck. I'm hoping it's not further up around the jawline. Uh, they're, they're feeling now potentially a broken jaw because it's not like him to go to one knee, not like him to show any weakness. So hopefully this is better news than not. He's been having a terrific game, both with and without the ball. 
Absolute glue in this team. Sometimes you can see him as a, well, you say glue, which generally means it's a defensive work that he puts in, which he's accountable for and gets the accolades for. But when you see some of the offloads he comes up with, and touches on the edge, he's an ever constant as a dummy runner and a support runner for his players around him. Pretty much is a complete package. There's Doc Mayhew there suggesting he'll take him to the, the head bin, the concussion test. Mannering, no risks taken, and this will see the debut for Isaiah Papali'i. Just a few months ago, he was in Mount Albert Grammar, completing secondary school. And here he is, and playing for the Junior Kiwis. Yep, he won't have his 19th birthday until later on in the year. Isaiah Papali'i. He doesn't turn 19 until September. Isaiah Papali'i, who played 11 games, I think it was, for the NYC team last year. Scoring six tries, makes his debut. And here he is with a touch, straight away he's into it. Big hopes for the future for Isaiah Papali'i. He's a big lad, 103 kilos. Remember Ruben Wicke telling me recently he's very impressive in the gym. A oh, solid D there as well. Saifidi, Barnett, Mataltia. Now Lasoni. Oh, great moment for Isaiah Tafali and his family here, Monty. Oh, it sure is. I think he's got a, obviously a weightlifting background, so he's very explosive and he's been a very good man. I think he came from Rugby Union as well, so it's a nice one that we've got across the line here in the great game of Rugby League. Jeez, he is just excitement all over. Well, with Mannering off, Hoffman has to step up now and assume that mantle. And he's been going fairly well in this game, you'd have to say, Ryan Hoffman. Great offload to start the second half. Seth Ngano clear. Now goes Johnson. That kick has been on the money as well. Lovely catch there. Right on the line, another excellent kick from Johnson and Fithian. Body on the line there. Yep, done well here, Fithian. I was watching two of us, a check here. He positioned himself on the inside of Sean Johnson when Sean kicked that football. And he had eyes only for it. But as he jumped, he sort of jumped and didn't really get a take on it. Maybe an ankle, possibly, or a knee. So Dylan Fithian comes down on that. Ooh, first of all, he comes down on the left leg, and then the right leg jars into the ground, and then straight to deck. So it looked like the left was okay. Ooh. I would say the left's not okay. <laughs> Obviously a sharp pain there, so it could be cartilage or anything like that, sending oh, yeah. that sort of fill up the leg. Oh, it... Well, that uh, Greg Inglis one the other night was a little strange too, wasn't it? What was strange was the fact that he played on uh, with, the, <laughs> yeah. with the ACL missing or torn. What a freak of a man that guy is. Tony Ayub, the trainer here, was a high performance manager, I think, or a new title with Newcastle. He's in very, very good hands there. Wow, Dylan it's, Fife, you know? it's, heart, it's heartbreaking, isn't it, for a, you know, you put all that work in for the off season, you feel for guys like Inglis and now. Fifth in here. And eventually in. Jesse Bromwich the other night as well. Yeah. Right, look like they're going to be up for lengthy spells in just the opening game of the season. So on comes Luke Yates again for the Knights. Fifth in can't put any weight on that left leg at all. So that will reshuffle the back line for the Knights. I'm thinking maybe Gagai's had some experience a fullback before maybe he parks himself back there this is Mataltia see on it Bowden Thompson in there making a tackle remember we didn't see Bodie Thompson at all in the preseason as he struggled through niggles Thompson in there making a tackle again alongside Sam Lasoni nice ball in the second half by GD's Harris what earth is going on? They look so settled and accomplished at the start of the game. This is just execution. Brock Lamb pushing up on the left and Hodkinson on the last play. It's been a set plan of Newcastle to kick from too wide to bring the Warriors up before making them go back. Isaac Luke. 
and Mannering. Oh, a little costly injury tally. Neither player looking happy there. Nice pack on Luke. Underneath that Warriors jersey is Lasani Coffs uh, gets another handle. Oh, tries to one it is so far now. Ngano Johnson looks to inject himself again. Too fast to check. Tackle coming in from Sioni Taltia again. Two tackles left in the set as Papa Lee handles close to the posts. Johnson left to the right. Ngano, he marshals to the right. It's going to be Johnson to take ownership of this one. Johnson, as he, he just gets that one a little bit too hard. It'll be back to the 20. He finally overcooks it to Sean Johnson. There is some space on the right-hand side. When Roger Tuivasa Shek, and they set up for him to go round to the right, Lolo here is holding his whip really well on the chalk. Roger chose to run himself on that occasion, but there was space. Here come the Knights again, and this is Dane Gagai. Doesn't see many opportunities at all, has he? Nathan Ross, that's a good steal of 20-odd metres out of Dummy Half. Excellent run. How good is he? Energy to boot. He sure is. He's fantastic. Now he's got his team on the front foot as well as Saifiti. Hits the line hard and offloads. Great pass to Hopkinson. Another one to Barnett. Oh, that's a great bit of stuff for you. Try-saving tackle coming in from Bodine Thompson. Real pressure on the Warriors in this play. Hodkinson. Papa Lee was with the tackle. Excellent play. The ball again from the Knights. It's Brock Lamb who's keen on getting a try. Bura. Now it's Stone. Out to Matalti who got the first try. It's Gagai. It's Gagai again. Well, the Warriors got back in defensive numbers excellently there. Last play. Brock Lamb. Six, six, more. Six, six more tackles. Four. The tackle count resets. This will be a test. Hey, I'm going to shoot it. Come through, mate. Not a quick one. Not a quick one. They go back to the 10. The Warriors concede another penalty. Great play, play from Newcastle. Really shifting the football around. Tiring defence from the Warriors has given the offloads and some sort of impetus. Oh. Well, that's too easy, isn't it? It is. Jack Stockwell, who's gone over and has scored the try. Tackle one. Over try. Can you confirm grounding, please? Well, he was right there. Looked pretty good for me. <laughs> I've got to say, he had pretty good sight of it. Let's have a look here. Does it fall out of the right arm of Jack Stockwell? The blurred vision doesn't, doesn't help, help does it? at all. No, it doesn't. Ashley Klein is the lead official in the bunker today for this game. It looks so easy. <laughs> Does, doesn't look good, the slur it is, does it? They like to throw Basically, a question at you, don't they? Evidence. We Slow have a down, going to the a little board. bit of doubt. Oh, we heard Ashley Klein saying he's going to the board, but... Uh, we're still waiting. Yeah, that was my gut feeling. Yeah. So Jack Stockwell, yeah, he spent some time. St. George Illawarra. Here's the break to start with. Hodkinson shows a little bit of a running game. And then a nice charge for Barnett right up the middle. And then this. Wow, where did this come from? The Sire Papa Lee and Bodine Thompson straight through the middle. Well, to be fair, if you can't defend your line like that, you deserve to get scored against. Whether well, there was a question mark on the grounding or not. Well, that's Stockwell's third try in his career. 54 games, 38 for the Dragons between 2012 and 2014 and, and the second season with the fact his third season with the Knights. A oh, nice reality check there for the Warriors. Uh, it is Monty, you'd have to say as well, as uh, Hodkinson lines up this attempt. And a reality check for um, Isaiah Papali'i, of course, you know, he's, he's made great at a very early age. He's big raps on the young man, but he just saw the reality of what it's like to play first grade, effort on effort, and when you get a big man like that, when you're retreating and when you're tired, you've got to do it again, you've got to face up, you've got to be just as strong physically, and that time he wasn't, and of course Bodine was there to help him, and 
probably should have assisted him a little bit better, but he'll learn from that. Well, we have uh, 25 minutes to play. It's 20 points to 14. The Knights back in it. Possession the key now. 25 to go. There'll be plenty of belief in this Newcastle side. That's a great burst upfield. Let's see if that energizes the visiting team. Remember the Warriors two of their better performance today, Mannering in particular. And Luke out of the game with injuries. Physical specimens, aren't they, the Saifidis? And there's two of them. Now the shape of Newcastle out to the left. Play from midfield. Bura has gone to dummy half, so Levi will be having a bit of a breather. Bura pinches a few out of dummy half. Now Brock Lamb looks to do the same. Watkinson on his left edge. Now it's Luke Yates. Runs straight at Papali'i that time. He's up to the task. He goes the last tackle. Hawkinson punts the line to, down towards Tuivasa Shek. No pressure at all on the, Roger that time. No, it was really a nothing kick, was it? Didn't get much weight on it, no height on it. Roger swallows it. Mamalo comes in. Trying to give some sort of movement. Marlo. There goes Hoffman. Get an update on Monty uh, from you in just a second on Simon Bannering. Oh, he's a handful, isn't he? Love Solomon cut up. It's just a bundle of energy. Here goes Gubb, he's back out there to finish the game. Monty, what's the update on Simon? Well, you saw that there was a lot of ice on Simon's neck. The great thing about it, they're still evaluating it. It's not a jaw problem, it's nothing that's broken. It is a neck problem, so if he shall be needed in this game, they'll assess it and he could very well go back on. All right, Thompson plays the ball, that's interesting. Get to an update from your Isaac Luke in just a second as well. Nicely taken, looks like that man Peter Matauti has gone back to fullback. Of course, he's got plenty of experience in that position as well. He has, and once again, just aiming for a spot for the ball to land on and gi giving Newcastle an opportunity to get out of there and albeit five metres from their line. No real contest for the football. Ross plays the ball. Away from dummy half. Those Mataltia, the Sioni. Now, Hodkinson, 40 metres out there, spread it. Nice tackle from Carter. Good without the ball that time as well. The ball that time was Sam Stone. He's outside the 40 to Ivasa Shek. Head back towards his 10 to take that one. Roger to Ivasa Shek. Brings it back to the line. Now, Monty, you got an update on Isaac Luke as well? Yep, that's right with Isaac Luke. It's a problem with his uh, intercostal muscle within his ribs. And so that is the muscle area that is giving him the pain at the moment. They're still not sure whether he will come back this afternoon, but it doesn't look likely. Into what? Intercostal muscle. Intercostal. Very impressive, Monty. You're in the wrong profession, my friend. <laughs> Here goes Lilliman over the halfway. He's been very good off the bench. He's run for over 100 metres now, Jacob Lilliman. He's actually the best performing forward in terms of metres gain. And remember, he started from the bench. Now, Gubb, 37 metres out, last tackle. Bodine Thompson filling in for Luke at dummy half. And here goes Johnson again. His kicking's been good. Metal here claims that one nicely. And the Knights back in possession. Again, it's the third or fourth time today we haven't actually seen a contest on the back end of those kicks from Sean Johnson. This man here on screen's had 16 runs. Nathan Ross has run more than anyone else on the park today. Metaltia from the back now. Johnson, Lilliman, Thompson. Away goes Jamie Bura. Johnson, remember, was offside. Got him. Affect the tackle there. Bura knew that. Pinched another few metres. Hodkinson. Here goes the Knights again. Saifiti. Jacob Saifiti. Last tackle. 40 metres out. The game's been played pretty much in the middle of the field in the second half, hasn't it? Here goes the kick from Lamb this time. Malmalo the target again. Well, he's taken that one. There'll be applause from that time. Yeah, did well here. Akim Malo. He didn't jump. He just let the ball come to him. And it was a lot easier. Carter. His ninth carry in the game. He's run for 86 metres. Best performing Warriors player, no surprise, has been Roger Tuivasa Shek with 133 metres so far. Here he is again. Roger Tuivasa Shek. 
160 metres in his, per game in his seven last season. Here's Vete. He's back out there now, started the game with a good effort. He's a big body. Away goes Thompson from dummy half. Hingano. Well, that's the perils there of a uh, backup dummy half who's not used to the position running it like that on the last play. And it's a poor end to a set of six where the ball's been in play for some five or six sets now. And the teams are starting to get fatigued here. That ball needed to find some space and be on the try line. Yes, it did. Land. Really in the arm wrestle here. And this game is by no means safe for the Warriors at all. And that just makes it doubly harder. Fifth penalty the Warriors have conceded in the match. It's going to be a tough period here for the Warriors to defend. With the ball being in play for five, six sets of six without a break. They're gassed. This is the penalty here. Ata Hingano more been in the road than anything else. The Knights now have the opportunity to have a set inside the Warriors 20, at least finish one. Nathan Brown's been kind to us today, Dale. He hasn't had the twins on together. Jacob and Danny. Danny's back out there replacing his brother. Now the Knights, 12 metres out. Playing the ball is Yates. Away goes Bura from dummy half. Oh, this looks good for the Knights. Ross for the corner. And Nathan Ross is in to make this game really interesting with 19 to play. It's 20 to 14 with the kick to come. They chance it on the edge, the new way to play, Lola here, and also Fusatua haven't been asked to do a lot of defence here on the right edge for the Warriors. And then the money ball from Trent Hodkinson. This is a beautiful pass. I'll try and pick it up here, Bura to Hodkinson, and then just to the outside, Sioni Mataltia gives Nathan Ross, who deserves a try for all of his hard work this afternoon. Johnson comes across, but can't really do too much. There's the signal. What? Lightning, they call it. Yeah, so I'm gonna go somewhere He's got well. plenty more hair on his head this year. Has uh, Nathan Ross, outstanding winger. No doubt about it, but I think obviously there, Hodkinson and what he's been doing in the last sort of 10 minutes of the game, he's really been ins inserting himself in, making sure that he's stepping up for his team. A great captain's knock, and I think that could be the difference going into this now. Obviously, it's going to be up to the playmakers and the spines in particular. Well, 18 minutes to play. Vital kick here for Hodkinson. Lock the scores up. We talked him up earlier in the game on his first attempt at 87% last year. That's so here isn't it? is his toughest assignment to boot. This is to level the game. 100% so far today. Three from three so far. For Trent Hodkinson, second season at the Knights of course. First try of the season, of course. He scored eight last year. And in all, it was his 12th try in his career in 26 games. So 20 to 18. It was 20 to 8 at halftime. The Warriors have not scored in the second half. And frankly, they haven't looked like scoring either. I believe there will be more points in the Newcastle Knights as well as Levi gets back onto the football field. So the Warriors are going to need to find some points, get their attack back on song. Good shoulder here. Hoffman down low, Vete over the top. Yes, it's going to be very interesting with Mannering off as well. He was so effective in that first uh, 60 more minutes or so. Hoffman, as I touched on earlier, is going to have to step up. And there's an example of what's going to be required from Ryan Hoffman. Very good tackle. Saifiti again over the halfway line now into the Warriors' half. On the last tackle, Hodkinson keeps the ball in hand. Barnett gives it out to Sioni Mataltia. Back in position is Lolly here. Precious few opportunities for him this 
game so yeah, far. the energies with Newcastle as they just drag Lola here back. Fusatua comes in for a charge. It's been quiet for three tries in the first half. Need to see more of him in the next 17 minutes. Tuivasa this, this is where he is so good. Take his pressure off the forwards just for that 30 seconds or so to give his forwards a bit more of a breather. There's a lovely run from Ken Malmalo. And an excellent play, the ball as well. A pass almost overrun from Carter. But the Warriors got to roll on here nicely. Here's the last play, and it's Johnson. Goes high to Nathan Ross. Right on his own goal line again, Nathan Ross. And the chase is good enough from Papali'i and also Fusitua. So now they've got to hold some metres here, the Warriors, and keep Newcastle in this area. Matautia, Sione. He's had a fair game, Sione, on that left edge for Newcastle. This is Peter. And they've both been willing, haven't they? Both of these guys have had good games. Precious few opportunities for Sean Johnson to show his skills in the second half. Here come the nice Rebura. Nice tackle. Gov again, right around the boot laces. The last tackle on the Warriors. They've kept them just inside their own half. Oh, no, here's Barnett. This should be a double for Ross, is it? Nathan Ross, it is! A comeback of epic proportions for the Newcastle Knights. Down by 12, they now lead by two. Was that Yates that put the kick in? Please. Unbelievable. So much space afforded to this Newcastle side on the left as Hodkinson decides to run it again. Last play. Who does he pick up? No, it's actually Barnett, isn't it? Lovely little kick there. And then the offload to Ross. Work to do. Shapes to come on the inside. Let's Tui overrun him. Two of us, Ashek, can't quite get into the frame. Wow. Reminds me of Glenn Stewart in the grand final, putting the little kick through and regathering right when you didn't expect it. Enterprising play, well done. And a fantastic finish. Intelligent finishing from Nathan Ross Mondi. Well, if you're a little ahead, you think next time you take the man, not the ball. You know, he, Ross dummy to kick and little here went out to try and block it, but he got another chance and hindsight's a wonderful thing. You just take him out, ball and all. But geez, even on the chase back, Sean Johnson got run off the ball by Mitch Barnett. Some great play by the Newcastle Knights. We thought they were done and dusted, but they've been coming back and they're looking a very good side right now. Everyone had shut off, hadn't they? Yeah. As soon as the ball was shifted to the left, the Warriors' right, their eyeballs should have been alive, looking to shut it down, not allowing more space. Costly. It's a mental game. So, hit the right hand upright mm. with the last kick that Trent Hodkinson actually drilled it really, really low. Didn't really gather much height in the flight. Let's see what he comes up with here. Exactly the same spot. So Hodkinson with an important kick. Oh, hit the other post. Well, which post is he going to hit if he has another one from there? He's going to hit the crossbar. <laughs> no conversion to the try. Oh. Don't know how you're faring, Daryl, but with 13 minutes left to go, I'm looking over to the bench and I see that Tom Mannering is still stationary with the ice on his neck. Doesn't look like he's even warming up. If it was me, I think I'd be getting him out there. Well... Yeah, no sign of movement at all from Isaac Luke either. The other two on the bench at the moment are Lilliman oh, and Lassoni. They have had all the football here in the second half, Newcastle, and they are making the most of it. 54% is their possession stat at the moment. The Warriors actually had more ball than them in the first half in the end. Johnson and Arfal make the tackle away. They sneak away on that left again. Barnett again. Johnson hanging on. Papali and Vete complete the tackle. Levi finding space up the middle again is Josh Starling. 
Last tackle. 30 metres out. Hodkinson gives it to Barnett and puts it on the left foot again. And Lola here anticipates nicely. I actually didn't know Barnett had a kicking game. It's looking good. Left footer, good drop down. This is for Satua. If anyone knows Mount Smart and knows the Warriors, the game starts in the last five minutes. This is just building. Well, only one break from Tui Vasa. Shit can do it. He almost snuck through there. Lamb knew that was a big tackle. Hingano rolls it away to Malmalo. Good tip pass that look forward, and it is. The tip pass to Carter has gone forward. I'm happy to be proven wrong. This is right in front of us here, Glenn. And as Hoffman tips us on, I think it's just the movement and the way they're playing. I don't believe this is forward. It's borderline, whether the camera actually suggests. Uh, well, there you go. I can be proven wrong. <laughs> just by about a metre, Chuck, that's all. But nonetheless, it was, uh, once again, it was down to risk versus reward. I think Hoffman probably, once again, should have taken that ball to ground. Maybe even Big Beast or Mini Beast should have even taken the one himself. Yes, exactly. Big, big set of six here in the context of this game, Daryl. Newcastle in field position. Big defensive set required for the Warriors. Can the Knights put this game to bed? Barnett's in trouble again. Remember we had that problem in the nose earlier. Maybe it's out of joint again. Yep. He's really grown in the second half, hasn't he, Barnett? Well, his numbers the ball were good last year, Daryl, actually. Gravitated towards his side of the field. I mean, didn't play a lot of games in Canberra. I think he only got a couple down there in 2015 and then nine last year, if I'm right. That's right. He, and he played in the nine. He did play 73 minutes a game, a couple of tries, 100 metres run, 33 tackles a game. Useful contributor. Mitchell Barnett. And Albert Vetti has been put on report here, so they're going to get a penalty here. So some detail in the tackle would suggest that part of Big Albert's body has come into contact with the head. Let's have a look. So, uh, what? There's nothing wrong here. It's very strange. Well, the bunker's intervened here. So, even with that intervention, I don't see he could have done anything differently. And has he done anything wrong? Well, there was a moment, Monty, where he might have gone towards the neck in that tackle. Wrestling him on the ground there, perhaps that's what the bunker's interested in. Yeah, that's the problem. You know, uh, sometimes if, when you haven't been in that situation and you don't know where to go in terms of so many bodies, and he was, you know, he gave, gave him an opportunity to pop his head out, out the side. That's I, don't, a, I don't think there's no. any intent there, that's for sure. That's in slow mode. Yeah, that in, didn't a, in, in normal speed, in normal frame, I don't think you can react differently to what he did. That's exactly right. Didn't look much in it in the end. It, in the end. Hypothetical. If this is 20 all and a penalty is going to be blown here, they kick the goal and they win 22 20. On the back of that interve intervention, do you think that's right? Well, no. Well, I go to 24 20, of course, if they decide to kick the goal here. Nah, sure, we've got time off. I'm sure Hodkinson will have a crack here, won't he? Time on. What are the Knights going to do here? No, they are going to run it. Interesting. All right. Well, that's an interesting decision. Now, foul with the tackle. Matatia plays the ball. Here comes Hodkinson again. Now, Josh Starling. The two teams meet, Gut and Starling. Big, big uh, set of six again coming for the Warriors here. Excellent tackle. Cuts Lamb down, that was Gut again. Now, here come the Knights. Hodkinson, it's Barnett again. In fact, it's Luke Yates. Yates plays it to Levi. Hodkinson. Nice change up, he took the line, but he's out of the play here on this last tackle. Hodkinson plays the ball. Levi's going to fall to Brock Lamb to cook something up special. Two minutes of six. Look out. Oh, this 
to be superb. What a hear. Ross is back. Saves the day for the Knights. It was coming. Sean Johnson picks it up. I would have loved to have seen him absolutely put the foot down there and go. But he gives it to Lola here. He doesn't have it in his hands long enough before he decides to put his foot on it. First tackle. Oh. Nathan Ross. Well, it's not the end of the world because it's, of course, a line dropout with the ball being forced in the end goal. Now Malmala has a chance to get those big legs pumping. 20 metres out. The Knights throw him right back to where he started. That's a great response from Bure and Co. right there. Here comes Gumb. Nine minutes to play. Two points the deficit. The Warriors haven't looked likely at all in the second half. Johnson. Here's Lassini. Energy levels you feel are good. Right now for the home team. Thompson gives it to Albert Vettier. He uses that big body to get very close. But he's not quite close enough. Thompson. Hingano. Short ball to Hoffman. Who just manages to hold on to it. And score a beautiful try. Did so well to catch this. So they're just checking on whether he's held the ball and not knocked it on. So we're checking now if he's knocked it on into the defensive that Ryan player. Hoffman catches the ball cleanly, which I don't think there's any problem there, Daryl, is there? Which Once again it was a slow-mo, it doesn't. It doesn't really show you, does it? There's a blurred vision. It's just... Yep, we've confirmed that Ryan Hoffman has clearly caught the ball. He's going to take one wipe of the brow. And now he just needs to check the grounding, and it looked pretty good. Gee, that was well finished. I'm just going to check the grounding here with Hoffman. He has gone short of the line there. His momentum carried him through. So momentum carries Ryan Hoffman into the in goal area. Number six from the New Zealand Warriors only makes contact with his own player. We have a decision going to the board. Well, that was some finish. Punk is not operating fluidly with their switching and their vision switching at the moment. Was keen to see what Mafoa Iata Hingano was going to do here, whether he was going to play out the back, but he went to the safety option and Ryan Hoffman, and the catch was perfect. Then just a bit of momentum to push him through the line and a bit of perseverance. In all of his games, wherever he's played, Ryan, he's played with that sort of determination, and this time it gets him across the line. Sean Johnson's resumed the kicking duties, obviously, with. Isaac Luke off the football field. Atta Hingano is a lovely striker of the football and there's another option for goal kicking for the Warriors. So well, they're here as well. Yeah. Started the year as the goal kicker last year. And Johnson knows how important this kick is. He's hooked that one in, yes! So the Warriors ease out by another two points. 26 to 22, six and a half to play. There's been a lot of talk about Kieran Foran and what he's going to do in round three, but Ate Ingano could still play under 20s. Look at the maturity he showed there. Yeah, he gave a little short ball, he took the safe option. Then he had the nails to come around and actually push Hoffman and get him across the line to score the try. Great work by the young man, Ate Ingano. 
one try last year. And make no mistake, that was superb finishing from Hoffman. That was finishing of the highest quality. Vitti plays the ball. Here goes Fusatua. Johnson with that goal. Moves us in a little bit closer now to Stacey Jones. He's just three away from equally on four from overtaking him. So the five to go. Three, three of the outside backs of the Warriors are over 100 metres. Two of us are checks over 200. Some good numbers there. Sonny back out there, remember. The Warriors struggle with injuries with Mannering and look out of the game. Now that's found open pasture. Forces Tina Matatia back. He's done well to come back to the 10 before he's wrapped up by Thompson. That's a good play and a good kick after scoring points from Sean Johnson. Turning Coming Newcastle in, around, they're just onto the 20. This is tackle two and shot from the Gubmeister. Well, he's been making a difference with some of his bootlace tackles, and there's one of them there today, Charlie Gubb. But he goes over the top there on that one. Well, Gubb's made 30 tackles in the game now, and 30 of them have been superb. That's a great steal out of Dunny Hart from Danny Levi, Brock Lamb, Hodkinson. Bura, of course, the Knights certainly not out of this game. Oh, great offload from Bura. Brings Ken Seal back in field. He hasn't really had many opportunities at all, Ken Seal. Now, go by there. Gotta watch him. He is a very good player. Last tackle, but the Knights don't have field position to really attack the line. They're a long way from that now, Tui Vasashek. That big run saw him leap yeah, over 200 down. metres oh, for the game. Oh, Round one. Oh. Mount Smart. The Warriors are a little bit gassed as well. And they only lead by four. With four to go. Took three plays to get them all on side. Solomon Carter puts it towards the middle. And Newcastle will be very anxious here to keep the Warriors pinned as far upfield as they can. Here goes Hoffman, the try scorer. The only try score the Warriors have had in the second yeah. half. Oh. Bodine Thompson filling in a dummy half for the injured Isaac Luke gives it out to Johnson. Here goes Johnson. Fusitua has gone for the foot to Lola here. It has. Well, it needed super hands from Fusitua to hold that up. If he did, it would have been spectacular again. Great play. There's some flat attack here. I'm sure it's Sofidi in front of Sean Johnson. He just sizes it up and knows he can go through. And here he tries to lay it on for Fussy Tua to get four. And he's done that before. Maybe the step, the show, the go, definitely the right call. But more importantly for Newcastle, it gives them the football. They do have to go 85 metres. Not a problem. <laughs> Gives them a chance. Now, more injury problems for the Warriors. Charlie Gubbs come off. And Jacob Lilliman is back out there now to complete the game. So, a bit of a uh, list of walking wounded in this game. Look at that position stat against the Warriors. 61 to 39 in the second half. Not pleasant reading. There's our offload. No, of called held. It would have been important. Not really pleasant reading from both sides. I mean, Nathan Brown will be delighted they've had so much possession, but the fact they've not really been able to make full use of it, Pure has lost the ball. Oh, has a bit of trouble. Don't take the mini beast down. Everyone's coming in for a push and shove and a wrestle. Biggest melee we've had for a little while here. We well, can't quite match the, the Raiders one last night against the Cowboys. Sam Lasoni has been derobed. Yes, that one won't be in the wash after this game. That'll be in the dustbin. Great work from Atta Hingano on Jamie Bura. Because this was a one on one that needed to be made. And there's lost control from Jamie Bura. So, yeah, that wasn't needed from Ken Mamalo, I suppose, for provoking it. But a little touch 
on the head and Gagai comes in and well who doesn't come in that's right looking uh, for any punches being thrown here doesn't look as though there is really anything Roger. specific Roger. but we'll see we saw Sinbins we're gonna have a scrum earlier in the round and we we're gonna have a scrum what you boys need to do you don't even want to wait here you've got next week okay we're having a scrum scrum's here it's a scrum no mate well, I think the officials have handled that really pretty well, Daryl. They would say that sanity has prevailed. And we're just going to have a scrap. And everyone got a little bit of a breather. I mean, Ted, you know, you might split hairs over penalising Malmalo, but if you go back to the, the football content here, the work of Atahingano defensively is so important. Danny Levi, does he get carried away? Well, that's just a little, not even a facial just to mess up the Let's mascara. Well, the bottom line is they're going back to the original infringement, which was the loose carry from Jamie Bura. So the Warriors have their hands on the ball with two minutes and 20 to play. And here's Mal Malo, who started it all. Mal Malo. Johnson. Fussy Tua. Four point game with two to play. Albert Vitti. What the Warriors want here is to complete their set. In the very least. Thompson. Keeps it on the open side. Here's Lasani. Or is that Lasani? Who is that guy? Lasotti, I jest of course, here is Albert Vitti, here's Hangano, now Hoffman, Hoffman! Oh, almost got that terrific tackle from Peter Mataltia there, last play. Six more, oh no way, here comes Tom Glenn, can you believe that? Oh, this could be sensational. Well, there is drama to come, the Warriors, they didn't need to push it back like that, Daryl. The ball is played at. Now the tackle count is on for the Warriors. Let's check their D. This is Bura. There goes the Knights. Quick hands required. Lasani's still out there. Is Lasani is coming off now. Starling. Oh, a solid defence on the halfway line. Stops any momentum for the Knights. Oh, it has it. Can Hopkinson whip up some magic? That looks like it's been lost. Surely that's going to be a Warriors scrum. And it will be with 30 seconds to play. Yeah, this left edge here for Newcastle has been pretty instrumental this afternoon with Nathan Ross. And they've worked it so well, but they get it wrong here. And one of the players actually takes Sean Johnson out and denies him the ability to defend that side and then when they go over the top they knock it on so of course no hurry for the Warriors to put a scrum down but Newcastle have to stop the clock and we've got an official I think maybe five seconds on it here in fact the hoot has gone here at the ground so I will have another play here though one play but I think the sunny shoot kind of sums up the last few minutes rugby league from both sides a bit shabby <laughs> Worn and tattered, the team. Hoffman ends the game, the Warriors escape with a win. Probably no other way to describe it. Not the prettiest game of rugby league to start the season. But good enough to get the two points for the Warriors. They win it, 26 to 22.